So you guys just saw a quick unboxing of the GVM 880RS light kit. So whether you're into doing videos or you're into photography, there's gonna come a point in time probably where you need some lights or at least you want some light. So this is a three light kit that comes from GVM. GVM stands for Great Video Maker and they have a whole bunch of products you can check out on Amazon. This is available on Amazon. If you want to check it out, you can check out the link in the description below. But let's take a look at what this kit comes with. There's a lot here, starting with the light panels themselves. So you have three of these LED light panels. It's got two power sources that you can use. One is uh, using the little power bricks here that they send with you. But not only that, you can also use two batteries here. So this uses, I believe it's the NP-F uh, batteries. I think that's what it is. I happen to have one right here. You can put two of these guys right on there and then you can use this battery operated. So that's kind of cool, but I think you need two batteries for it to work. I don't think you can just do it with just one battery. It's gonna mount on stands, which it comes with, and you've got some barn doors on here, right, that you can use to help direct your light a little bit. It also has uh, a little diffusion panel in here, and these are 60 watt LED lights. So there's a lot of cool stuff about these. One of the things that I like a lot, let's tighten this guy up here so I don't break anything, right? One of the things I really like about these is that uh, they're not only white and orange, you know, those temperature colors, but it's RGB. So you can get pretty much any color that you want out of these lights. And we're gonna try them out in a second here. And I should also mention that GVM did send these to me for free to try out. They're not paying me to do this review, so I'm gonna give you my honest opinion on these lights. Are they good, are they not? Is it something that you should look into? I'll probably release this video after I use them for a little while, so you're gonna see them probably in a few previous videos, lighting up my background and just trying different things. But there's a lot of cool features on these lights right here. So you get three of these guys, you get three lights. So I'm gonna go close that back up. Let's just put that down for right now. You get three power supplies so you can plug them in. Or like I said, if you've got the batteries, you got that battery type, you can use it and that'll work out just fine. They come with uh, nice little bags here that the lights come in so you can keep them safe while you are uh, traveling around here. So that's kind of nice. Then you get three stands. We're gonna open these guys up in a second here, but you get three stands, one for each light. So you can use that to mount the lights or you can use any other stand that you have because the mounting options that you have here on the bottom of the light are pretty much a standard uh, type of mount that you would have on any kind of light stand. It also comes with, uh, you know, you got your instruction booklet as well as your uh, certified uh, certificate here, qualified certificate, so you got those. And I always recommend reading the manual because you might learn a little something and there's a lot of knobs and buttons and things on these lights. You wanna know how to use it, definitely check out the manual and I'll be doing that too. And the other thing, I don't know if you caught it when we were doing that quick unboxing because I kind of sped through it for you, but the lights came in this its own carrying case. So all this stuff here on the table fits right back into this case. Now that's sweet because let's say I didn't have this case. How am I gonna move all this stuff around, right? What do I have to get my own bag or something? Nah, they're gonna supply this bag for you. It's got a zipper on each side, which is pretty sweet. And you can put two lights on one side, one light on the other, fits your stands, fits all the accessories. You're good to go. You got one nice bag here. So before we get into this too far, trying all these guys out, I want to tell you that these lights are available on Amazon. At the time of this recording, they are $389. So they're not cheap, but if you need a couple lights, this might be a good kit. We're gonna run it through with paces here and kind of try it out. All right, so now that you know where you can find them and how much they cost, let's get one of these guys up and running so we can try it out. Let's go ahead and open that up. So these guys do come in a nice little, uh, I don't know, velvet type uh, bag here, pouch, whatever you want to call it. Now it doesn't feel super heavy duty. It's pretty lightweight, which is good because if I'm carrying around that bag, you know, I don't want something that's heavy. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen this up. We're going to open it up and we'll get one of the lights mounted on here. So that way we can start trying it out. So the footprint of the light is pretty small. You know, I like that. Maybe this is two feet there and these lights are not that heavy. They're actually pretty light uh, for what they are. I thought they would be a little bit heavier but they do feel like a good, you know, metal build or they got a good quality to them. And the light stands, you know, that's like your typical uh, light stand. It's, it's pretty good. It's a little firm, you know, when you're moving them. So I would just, you know, be careful with it. You don't want to break anything, right? And this is your typical uh, mount that you would find on light stands here. So we're just going to take one of these lights and mount it up there. So this is just going to slide right on here and we're going to go ahead and tighten this guy down. It was actually pretty light, the stand and the light itself. It's not heavy at all. I mean, it's it's pretty light. I like that because if I got to move them around or do something with them, that's a lot nicer than something that's heavy and bulky, right? Who doesn't like that? Come on. Right, I'm just going to grab one of our power pack things here and uh, plug it in and we're going to fire this guy up. And one of the things that I do notice off the bat is that this uh, power brick down at the bottom here, 
at this height, so I'm 5'9", so a little lower than that, 5'5", uh, five, five, this doesn't quite sit on the ground. It almost kind of sits like, you know, here's the ground, it's kind of sitting like that. So I kind of would have liked to have seen a longer cord on here just so that way it reaches the ground, or I might just use some Velcro straps and actually strap it onto the light stand itself because I don't want to, you know, break the ends of the cords or at least up here, it's, you know, 90 degrees coming out of there. So that's good. And the other end of the cord, I mean, is plenty long. So that's great. But if this side could be a little longer, I think that would be better. So let's go ahead. We're going to open up the barn doors here. Now, when it comes to using these lights, there's a few different ways that you can do it. Obviously you can use all the, uh, knobs buttons and dials on the back of the panel but they also have an app that you can get for it so we're going to download that and give that a try in a little bit but for now we're just going to take a look at the display here and we're going to try that out and see how that works so let's just go ahead and turn this guy on we've got the on off button which is right here so if you rock it to the left that's going to be your battery power if you rock it to the right that's going to be your power from the wall so let's go ahead and turn her on there we go all right so take a look at the lights not too bright right now now we've got a whole bunch of things going on on the screen here. So what I did first was I hit the mode button here and now it puts it on rotate. So these two dials, I can spin and change things. So on the left here, we have our brightness. Ooh, so that's on a 34%. Crank this guy all the way up. Wow, 100%. Where's your sunscreen, right? Man, this is pretty bright. So I'm gonna crank that back down. So that is your brightness on the left, right? And it's just a dial that keeps spinning around and around. It looks like it, you know, it has a plus and a minus like you would only go so far with it, but it just continually spins. So you can make it as high as you want. Now I do like that it goes, you know, 1% at a time. So you can really adjust this light however you want it to be. Now the other side here, this is gonna change our color. So if you can see if I twist it all the way to the right, that's gonna be about, it says on here, 5,600 Kelvin, a little bit more blue. Now, if I want it to be a little more yellow and I go the other way, we get to 3,200 Kelvin. So depending on your situation, you can adjust your white balance here to match whatever you want. Now if I crank it all the way up here and just go from our 3200 Kelvin all the way over to our 5600, you can see the differences there. So that's pretty cool. So we have our full spectrum of our, you know, from our white light to our yellow light. So that's kind of cool there. So now let's say we want to get into the color modes. How do we do that? Well, on this button on the right, you can push it and it's going to give you different options. So if I just push it once, it changes to color. So look at this green. This is super saturated. That's, that's awesome. I'm loving that. And now if I turn the right hand dial, it should change our colors for us. If I turn the left hand dial over here, it's gonna make it brighter or not as bright. So we can turn down our intensity, our brightness. And if I just spin this, you can see we can get any color that we want. Now that's pretty sweet. You just rotate through, pick whatever color you like. You can make your background any color you want. Now I will say off the bat, this one light here is casting a lot more color than the other setup that I usually use, which is a little strip lights at the top here, and then down on the bottom here, I have two different LEDs shining up. So the amount of light that this thing is throwing is a lot more than the lights that I have. Great, it is bigger, but I think this is gonna come in super handy for me lighting up my background here, do different things with it, and just have more options, right? Who doesn't like more options, right? So you can just scroll that through, got all your colors, uh, the, uh, the color wheel there, you pick whatever color fits your needs. Now, if you click this right hand button again, you can adjust the saturation, right? Let's say I don't want this yellow to be a saturated. I can drop it down until it gets to white. Crank it up and you're gonna get more yellow in there, right? And if I hit it again, then it is going to allow me to go back to our blue and orange uh, colors here. So you've got lots of options here on how to do the color to make it whatever you want. And man, if I just get back in here, wow. Yeah, it's bright, it's bright, it's bright. And it's only on 62% and that is bright, that's bright. So one thing that I really do like about these already is my little monitor where I can see where I'm filming now is that I can see that the background color is still staying in there. You still see the color. It's not getting washed out by my big light that's up over here. Over here, I've got a 36 inch softbox circle light that's lighting me up for this video and you can still see the color on the wall behind me here. So I like that because my other setup, it does get washed out. If I was doing it this way with this big light up over here, then this would get washed out. So the fact that these guys have that much power, I really like that. That's, uh, that's great. And I think that's gonna come in real handy for me. So one of the other great things about these lights is that you can have one light control multiple lights. So if I had another light here and I had this one hooked up, I can have this one be the master that controls the rest of these lights. So you can go through the modes and it's got a way for you to set you know, one is the master and then the other ones are the ones that are gonna respond to the master. So it works out really well if you have multiple lights and you wanna change them all the same way with the same settings. And I'll get all these set up and I'll throw in a clip of, of doing that and how that works. So that's a nice feature to have there. And then if you click the mode button, you have another option that says app 
We're gonna go through the app in a second here, take a look at that and see how that works out. But all in all, I think these lights, they, I mean, they, they, the build quality feels good so far. They feel good, they're, they're sturdy. You can see on the back here, they have ways for air to get through and a little vent so that they're not overheating. The quality feels good, they feel solid. Right now, I'm pretty impressed with opening these up and, and seeing what comes in the kit and some of the other options and features that they have. Another really cool feature with these lights is that they have preset effects in there. We're gonna run through those in a little bit too and show you what those effects are and how they work, but they are really cool and I'm looking forward to trying them out and uh, making some fun videos for you with them. So we're gonna see how that works. All right, I got all these three lights going now. The amount of brightness that I have is fairly low on these guys and these guys are pumping out a lot of light and color. I mean, this looks pretty good to me. For example, 31% here, 41% on the guy in the middle and 23% over here. Now, if I crank these guys up, obviously it's gonna get all blown out in the video here, but you can see we've got options. When I'm being lit here by my key light, then we can have colors in the background. Now that's, that's awesome. I mean, these lights do have a lot of power. So now let's try and just link them together and see how that works out. Just by using the units themselves, I'm not gonna get into the app just yet. Let's just try it on the unit. So looking at the units right here, the first one, what we wanna do is come into our mode. And if we hit the button once, We've got slave, and if we hit the other one, hit it one more time, we've got master. So we want this one to control all of them. That's perfect. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other ones, but we're gonna select the slave setting for those. So that way they follow this one. So I'm gonna come over to this guy right here. I'm gonna hit my mode and there we go, okay? And then on my last one too, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hit mode and we're gonna go to the slave. Now, the other thing you need to check is on here, there's channels. You need to make sure they're on the same channel Otherwise it's not gonna work, right? So right now this main one is on channel six. So the ones that are gonna follow, I'm gonna move those to channel six by hitting the up and down buttons. And you can see as soon as I change it there, now they're all the same. The LCD displays are saying all the same thing. When I rotate through the colors, I get the exact same color from all the lights. So that's pretty sweet. Now you can use the app and just change it through the app, which that's something I love because while I'm sitting at my desk, I wanna see what I'm looking like. I wanna change it around without having to get up and do everything, right? So that's pretty sweet. They can have one main one and have the rest of them follow it. I like that. So I'm really impressed with how responsive these lights are. You just adjust the main one here and all of them adjust simultaneously. And one of the best parts is there's no trying to figure out how to connect them through Wi-Fi. What's the user ID, password, I don't know. I just want to connect them up. I can't figure it out. It's not working, you know what I'm saying? But these lights are just fine. As long as you got them on the same channel, they connect right up, no problem. So real quick, let's just touch on the app here. You can get it on your iPhone or your Android, whatever you got. Head on over to the App Store. You're gonna type in GVM LED, and you should get something that looks like this guy you see on the screen right here. Go ahead and download that. And then you're gonna have to register once you open up the app. So you'll have to put in your email. It'll say, send you a pin. It'll send it to your email and then you just punch in that pin and then you should be good to go with the app. So let's get started. How do you connect the lights to the app? The first thing you need to do is jump onto the lights and you're gonna hit the mode button until you get to app. It's gonna say app on the right hand side of the little LCD screen. You can go ahead and click on that. Once you're in there, this was a little confusing for me at first, but you need to go into your Bluetooth settings. So I'm gonna do it on my phone. I'll throw up the screen recording here. Go into your Bluetooth and you're gonna see I've got a couple of the LEDs here. It's called BT underscore LED. So you just pick one. I don't know how you tell them apart, but uh, I'm just gonna pick the first one here. And then once it gets connected to that, then you wanna go jump into the app and open the app. Cause I tried to do it before it connected to Bluetooth and it just wasn't working out. It wouldn't, wouldn't even open. I was like, what's going on here? Woo! So definitely connect the Bluetooth first, then jump into the app. So it looks like my Bluetooth is connected to the one BT underscore LED. Let's jump over into the app. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. It might ask you for your email address as well as your password that you just set up. So go ahead and plug that in. I'll do that right here. Once you're done, go ahead and click log in and it should open up what we see right here. So now we've got uh, the screen that we come onto is called My Devices. You can pick your different LEDs here and uh, I don't know if you can rename them. I haven't played around with the app too much because honestly, I think it's a little bit easier just to go to the lights and change the dials uh, for at least my situation but it is nice to have the option here. So I'm just gonna hit the first one here, connect, and we're gonna see what happens there. So it brings up this screen. Now I'm not gonna go through all the ins and outs of how this app works, but you can see we can change the, uh, you know, intensity of light, change the colors. You can jump into, uh, you know, the color wheel, pick any color that you want, make it brighter, make it, you know, not as bright, less saturated, more saturated. You can access the different scenes here, right? We have the lightning, the candle, the paparazzi, all those kind of different modes. And then you've also got, let me just change this back here so it ain't flashing. 
Then you got an option to save scenes, right? You can make your own scenes up. That way you can just recall those and you're good to go, right? So you would, uh, you know, set your settings. You can come up to this guy here at the top and then click save scene and you can save it and name it whatever you want. And I believe you can save up to six scenes. So that's just a real quick overview of the app. Like I said, I'll probably use the buttons on the lights most of the time in my situation, but it's nice to have this app and that's kind of what it looks like if you're interested in that. Well, one of the cool things you could do, get multiple colors. We got blue coming from here, red coming from here, and we got purple on the background. So you can do cool lighting effects like that. And these barn doors, they do work pretty good. I mean, not 100%, right? You're gonna, some light's gonna leak out, but they do work pretty good as far as directing the light. And even if I turn off the background one here, just turn that all the way down, you're not getting a ton of light spill. Is there some? Yeah, sure, there's some, but it's not too much. And uh, I think they do a pretty good job. Almost makes your eyes wonky, man, with the red and the blue. Woo! Anyways, and even looking up top here without the lights in it, without these guys, it's still, it looks cool. Mode one here, yo, nobody told me there was gonna be lightning in the studio today. Storms, what's going on here? We got lightning for mode number one. Woo! Yo, come on, man, I didn't do nothing. I didn't see nothing. It wasn't me, another guy, he went that way. Swear he did, I swear it wasn't me. Just some random YouTuber. This is scene two. Police lights. Nothing like reading by a little candlelight. Or maybe it's even a little fire in the fireplace going here. A little firelight going. Mode three, candlelight. We got an old school black and white horror movie here. TV's flickering, I don't even know what's going on here. Man, what's, what's the deal? The deal is, this is scene number four, TV screen. This next one could be good for a horror kind of movie or uh, just maybe something a little bit creepy here. We have flickering light kind of simulates one of these guys up here that might not be working so good. But actually just this guy right here. Scene number five, flickering light. Mode six and seven are pretty similar. They're party lights and disco, and it kind of looks a little bit like this for mode number six. And mode number seven is the same, just a little bit faster. Getting back into the studio. Hey, what's going on? I didn't know all these paparazzis was gonna be here. Mode number eight is paparazzi. So let's wrap this up. Are these lights any good? And I would have to say, yeah, for me in my situation, primarily using them here in my studio, they're gonna be great. I think they have a lot to offer. The light output from these things is awesome. I mean, these are set pretty low as it is. Getting tons of light. I really like that. I like the different colors, the different modes, the white to yellow, uh, white balance that you can adjust on the lights. I think it works out really good. I also got a chance to use these lights on a photo shoot for a newborn. I needed to have something light that I could bring that would just help add a little extra light because, you know, in a lot of people's houses, there's not a whole lot of light going on. So throwing up a few pictures here of how that worked out, it did work out good and it was just enough light to get some great pictures. I even let my kids give the light a try and they made this little stop motion here. Check this out. Pretty cool and pretty creative too, huh? So all in all, I will be using these. I'm going to continue to use them because I think they're great. So as awesome as they are, there's always room for improvement. So what are some of the things that uh, could be improved or I think could be a little bit better with these lights? Well, one of them is that cord issue that I had mentioned earlier in the video where the, the actual power brick doesn't actually sit on the ground if you raise the light up too high. That was kind of annoying because like I don't want the cord just hanging from the light, right? I feel like that's going to break it over time. So that's one thing that maybe could be addressed. Another thing that uh, could maybe be addressed is the diffusion. So what I'm using here, like I said, it's a huge, a three foot uh, soft box, you know, so makes nice soft light. And the light on these guys, you know, if I'm using it to light my face for YouTube video and not using this big light, it's a little harsh, you little shine on my head there, right? It's okay, it's not bad. But it could be better. Maybe they could come up with a better diffusion system or something. Obviously, obviously it's not going to be the same as having a soft box, but that's just one thing that I think could be improved a little bit. Now, the diffusion panel in there does help a little bit, so I left that in and used that both in the photo shoot as well as what's going on back here. I use that now, too. The other thing that you might just want to be aware of is the light stands themselves. Now, the whole rig is pretty light, which is good when you're traveling around, but you do want to be careful that you maybe put a sandbag on there or something. You don't want that light tipping over now in my studio here this doesn't matter nobody's bumping into these nobody's here but for example when i was doing the baby photo shoot i kind of maybe wish i had some sandbags to put on there because as i raised the light up it did get a little bit wobbly you know and you don't want it to fall on anybody and you can always put those legs out as far as they can go granted it's not that big but you just want to be careful if it's a windy day you're outside with them you're going to want to put a sandbag on them because they are light enough that they would probably blow over pretty easy so if you're looking for a light kit and this is an option on the table for you i think it's a 
great buy. I think, you know, $400 is not cheap, but I think these lights do a great job. They've got a lot of output. The colors uh, are great. They're rich colors, they're saturated, and you've just got a lot of options on how you can use these lights, being that they're both battery powered as well as, uh, you know, you can plug them into the wall. They're just very versatile, I think. So if that's kind of what you're looking for and that's what you need, I would recommend these guys. I'm going to be using them and I think they're a great product. So big thank you to Great Video Maker for sending these guys out. I think they're awesome. It's a great product. I appreciate the opportunity to try out these lights, share them with my audience and hopefully help you guys out there level up your game if you're doing photo, video, whatever it might be and you need some lights that do some cool stuff and that give you good output. These guys might be something you want to check out. So with all that said, guys, thank you for sticking in there and checking out this video. Oh, by the way, did you notice I got some DaVinci Resolve colors going on back here? <laughs> How about that, right? So thank you guys for watching. Watching. If you're into DaVinci Resolve, you want to check out some of those videos, link above here, check out some of these videos, and I will see you guys, hopefully, in the next video. Peace!